berthing, anchoring, and other mooring operations. Anchoring. When the anchor is dropped, the flukes of the anchor get embedded into the seabed. Thereafter, sufficient length of anchor chain is paid out and laid on the bottom of the sea. The anchor and chain thereby prevents the vessel from drifting and keeps the ship hooked to the anchor position. The chain should have sufficient slack so that the anchor shank remains parallel to the seabed. While anchoring the following points to be implemented. 1. Ensure personal safety gear is used, especially safety goggles to prevent mud particles and small stones from getting embedded in the eyes. 2. Use a wooden metal bar to act as a lever when rotating the brake handle for immediate effect. 3. Keep well clear of the chain when it is running out since the chain can part. 5. Trying to stop a chain which is running out in an uncontrolled manner will only wear out the brake lining. 6. In deep waters and on large vessels anchoring is done only by gear to prevent the chain from running out in an uncontrolled manner. 7. Hoist anchor ball by day and anchor light by night. During anchor watch. 1. Report to the bridge if there is excessive strain coming on the chain or the chain is leading ahead at long stay. 2. When the wind force increases or when the ship swings around with the tide keep a close check on the chain and also the relative position of other ships in the vicinity. 3. If it is observed that other ships or your vessel has come closer to the shore or other vessels immediately report the same to the duty officer. 4. Report all movement of crafts coming within the vicinity of your vessel. 5. Keep a strict anti-pilferage or anti-piracy watch and ensure all stores, locker and accesses if not in use are locked as per the requirements of the ship security plan. 6. All authorized boats to be provided with a safe access ladder. 7. No unauthorized personnel to board the vessel. 8. Routine report to the bridge via portable VHF radio to be carried out every half hour regarding safety rounds taken. 9. Fog signal to be activated in restricted visibility as per duty officer's instructions. Securing anchor for sea. Bring the anchor home. Wash thoroughly the cable and anchor. Remove loose wires or nets from the cable, if any. Ship the bow stopper in place and secure it. Tighten the anchor brake. Disengage the gear. Take wire lashings around the anchor cable and tighten the bottle screws. Cover the hose pipe with its metal cover and secure the same. Put metal cover plates on the spurling pipe. Spread the cement concrete around the cover. Put the canvas cover over the cemented metal plates and secure the cover to the chain. This arrangement prevents water ingress into the chain locker. 